you know master said uh, when we work for people when we serve the humanity the divine forces start working for us they start supporting us and that's what has been the journey of paisam Paisam, it's Paramhans Yogananda, Society for Special Unfolding and Moulding. As the name suggests, it's unfolding and moulding. Unfolding what they have and moulding give shape to that potential. IPA, Mumbai, India, Chennai, Shipakin, Delhi, Punjab, Shanghai, Hyderabad. Many of us are the follower of our Guru Preceptor, Paramhans Yogananda. And we try to implement his philosophy, his teaching in our activities. Actually, Guruji says, you know, um, churn the ether. Churn the ether to fulfill all your worthy spiritual desires and demand from, from the Divine. And that's what I started doing. And it became more intense, I think, round about in 2002. It was a couple of years after my son's birth who was discovered with uh, delayed milestones. And uh, we started churning the ether. Not only the ether, we also started churning the people who were working for the inclusion of uh, such children. We are working for intellectual disability and our main purpose is the mainstreaming of people with special needs or giving them least restrictive environment in the society. Uh, we believe that every human being has divinity in him or her, has the spark. Sometimes due to some uh, problems, some disability, this uh, potential is hidden, especially children or adults with special needs. We started it in 2005 with two children. And uh, those two children brought life to the activity center. But we were really shaken up with a, with a child with autism 
he was our first child in all, with autism and again we started churning we would meditate we would pray to god for a support because we we didn't have any anything related to autism and uh, that child started responding beautifully but distinctly had serious habit bad habit of spitting on people he won't feel comfortable with strangers and initially when he joined us we i was a stranger to him and uh, whenever he saw me he tried to spit and i was wondering what should i do because i am not uh, from disability background i was never trained in intellectual disability so i didn't know how to go about it the people were working on him suddenly a thought came why not assert to him love so one fine morning i reached the school this child came to me saw me and immediately spitted on me and as soon as he did it i immediately stood up and caught him and with my both hands i shook him and i told him i love you i love you i love you i said it three times and i gave him a tight hug and this was absolutely new behavior to him nobody had done that before to him he looked in my eyes intensely turned fast and ran away believe me he stopped spitting we try to bring out what best they have as it is said by saints and great people he is the doer not i that we follow in our day to day activities we believe in that in our activities we include prayers healing prayers meditations for us prayer works like a magic the what in all thy children manifest thy healing presence in their bodies the what in all thy children manifest thy healing presence in their minds oh we have seen tremendous changes in these children sometimes it takes time sometimes it's very quick i really see no hamare na samano this is my na samani na mukhi saadi kalo ki mukhi saadi kalo ki mukhi saadi kalo ki mukhi saadi kalo ki <laughs>